Hello and welcome back to the Attribution Marketing Channel where we help businesses, brands, and entrepreneurs like you get more out of their marketing and advertising spend. On today's episode, we are going to be breaking down everything that has to do with national advertising on TV and most importantly, how we measure it with accurate attribution so we can get more out of those campaigns. So what does it mean to have a national TV advertising spot? Well, Netflix and streaming providers, those are might show up on your TV, but that is not TV. When we talk about TV advertising, we're talking about the nationally syndicated programs, nationally syndicated shows. So the Super Bowl is gonna air at the same time for everybody in the country, and that feed is broadcast to all those televisions simultaneously. When we talk about a national TV ad campaign, this is the type of format that we're talking about. We're not buying ads on a local network running something in Chicago only. We are buying ads on a nationally syndicated show, and those ads are broadcast to a national audience, typically all at the same time. So that's how we're gonna define what TV is, which is the traditional over the air medium, and what national means, which means that the content, the advertisement is syndicated and synced nationally everywhere. So the question becomes, why is this a challenge? What's so hard about measuring these campaigns? Well, let's break it down. If you have a national campaign running during the Super Bowl, a Super Bowl happens at a fixed point in time. On the East Coast, that might be kickoff is at 7 p.m. Eastern. Well, kickoff on the West Coast would be 4 p.m. Eastern. What time is that in Hawaii? What time is that in Alaska? And almost interestingly enough, what time is it in Arizona? Because Arizona has their own unique time zone schedule. Further complicating it, do the networks adjust for that? Is it really simulcast in Hawaii at that time? If it's a Super Bowl, yes, probably. If it's Howard Stern Live on a cable network, it might not be. So you have to start to ask these questions. Is it in fact simultaneous across the globe? If not, your data is segmented. You should be looking for a spike in your analytics traffic or your web traffic, your mobile app traffic at the time of the event in real time. But there's also probably if the event is delayed or not, in fact, simulcast, then you're going to have different data coming in from different regions at different times when those folks see the advertisement. This completely destroys the very linear model of the ad ran at this time. The results I got came in over the next 10 minutes to my website or mobile app. And these are the results that I got. That would make sense if the advertisements were in fact synced in real time, you had full data and it went everywhere at the same time. But unless it's a Super Bowl ad or it's an advertisement on a live TV show like say CNN or something, you might not be getting that data accurate and it might be broken out by time zone and things like that. So in order to perform accurate attribution for a nationally syndicated TV ad campaign, you need to understand all these intricacies about not just what ad ran, what was the creative, uh, what was the call to action, but what time of day was it? When did it show in what region? How did an individual region perform versus another region? And almost most importantly, is the content that you're advertising against, the show itself, is it simultaneous? And can you get accurate to the minute data from Nielsen or from your spot log provider that says, in fact, in Hawaii, this ran at 9.03 a.m. and this ran in New York at 11.03 a.m. and this ran in Texas at 8.03 a.m. Is that all in fact the same time or is it not? If those are in fact not the same unified time, you're gonna see multiple spikes in your data, multiple peaks and valleys in your analytics and you're going to need to account for that because most likely the ad is not seen or experienced in real time as your data model might anticipate. So what are the three main variables that impact your ability to measure this accurately? The first is the type of feed. Not all cable advertising feeds and what you're buying take place in the same way. So you need to understand precisely what you're buying in terms of the feed and when and where your ads are gonna run. Some cable networks advertise once per day when the event is in fact live, but in a dual feed, that event might be shown twice per day. So you might pay for the ad for the live event, but it might run twice. You need to capture that. 
and make sure that you know both those ad times and when they're running so you can accurately measure the results. If you know you've purchased a spot in a dual feed format, you can expect to receive two placements of the ad unit on both of those feeds. Once you know that, you can move on to the next two pieces, which is what is the time zone in the region where the ad was shown and how does that region account for daylight savings time? Because it might actually change from one week to the next. You think your ad runs at Monday, 9 a.m. Well, that is true in terms of unified time across all regions, but by the next week on Monday, maybe you might have a region where the time zone is drawn right between a population center or between two very similar population centers. And so they might be seeing your ad at an hour apart, even though they're in fact in the same region. You have to bake that into your analysis so that the data that you receive in terms of attribution is accurate. Further adding to the complexity, certain states like Arizona and Hawaii do not make any changes for daylight savings. So if you're in state X and you're looking to measure results from Arizona or Hawaii, you have to understand where they are at relative to daylight savings time because it might not be the time that you think it is. You want to know which ad, in which region, at what time of day has the best results when you can measure it digitally or in a retail environment or on your mobile app, etc. And to do that, you really need to nail down those three metrics. What feed did you buy? What time zone is the region in? And how does that time zone account for daylight savings time? This challenge has really plagued national advertisers for a long time. I'm sure we've all heard the phrase spray and pray, which is a common phrase in marketing. And that's basically what television and radio and newspaper used to be 30, 40, 50 years ago before digital. You had no ability to measure it. No one even could attempt to solve this problem. So you would buy a big Super Bowl ad, you'd cross your fingers, and you'd hope to sell a lot more Bud Light and Ford F-150s. But in today's environment, when you can measure these things digitally with analytics, um, with attribution, you're able to account for the time zone, the geographic region, and the daylight savings parameters of each particular region and you can map back accurately how well each TV spot did in each region at each time of day. And that data set is the holy grail that informs marketers on how to improve that national TV campaign. If you are a national TV advertiser and you are looking to solve some of these questions or you are running into these problems, please click the link below for a complimentary demo of the LeadsRx national TV attribution solution. On this quick demo, you're going to see exactly how your campaigns would feed into LeadsRx and how we account for daylight savings time, the region, and the type of feed that you are purchasing in order to deliver to you the accurate attribution and analytical data that you need to improve your campaigns. That's it for today, folks. This is the Attribution Marketing Channel, signing off.